Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is Final Fantasy Renaissance version 2.0.4. My no uh, class change progression upgrade run. I don't have anything more I can really do with these guys outside of leveling them up and that might be something we need to do. I'm grossly under leveled for this. Move. Um, so, this is something that I can do. Actually save. So yeah, I have a feeling the gas dragons are going to be my bane, like they always are. Like, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I realize that if I had a group of three monks instead of a full four, a lot of this would have been easier. Yeah. That's right. Alright. Can you stop giving me four? Like, give me three, that way I can have one of my guys actually start healing. We've got a lot of street racers around here, unfortunately. I didn't... Uh. Cool, let's take this time to heal.
I could have used some of the, the stuff like the Bane Sword, come to think of it. I need to remember I have those items available to me. Resistant to again. Yeah, fuck that. Ain't worth it. I'm waiting for him to attack the main guy so that he misses and I get a free follow-up attack. Or for him to cast uh, haste. Because right now my guys are pretty freaking squishy. That's fine. That's close enough. Let's just kill him. Yeah, I can't run from the elementals. Except for air, apparently. They hit way too hard for me to do the same strat again. Oh my god. Stop hitting number two. Like, holy shit, you're supposed to have a 75% chance to target the first guy. Or not 75, but 50, whatever.
just blitz him. Alright, so we're gonna go level up. No, that, that, like, I don't have the hit points to survive a nuke. Uh-uh. Nope. Nah, we'll, we'll focus on leveling up. Probably try to get to level 30. Um. Because the next one, let's see, was 64, so 96 is when the next um, attack increase happens. Yeah, seriously, if I didn't have the last guy there, um, all of their healing would have been improved, because it wouldn't have been divided by four, it would only have been divided by three. And on top of that... Um, they would have had a... Um, like, everybody would have had a ribbon. Hindsight, I guess. So, any of you wanting to do this, uh, I recommend having uh, only three monks, not four. Um, it's going to be a little rough off the bat, but all your experiences increase slightly because it's divided by three, not by four. Um, so, there's that on top of the fact that everybody will get a ribbon. Thirty-two is when the armor from my shit doesn't work anymore. Or, or not doesn't work anymore. Is less than what I'm gaining. Uh, 33. So until then, my armor is better than having them be nude. Thirty. Not bad. Sorry, I had to get uh, a one guy who's not elemental resisted uh, back up. That way I could keep pounding through this. Divided by four, that's still a thousand, right? Thank you. 
Chance to strike first? Hell yeah. Done. Nah, these guys crit too much. Cool. Okay, um, 22% chance to crit, so a fourth of a chance. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, 32. It may not be as much as a full group of Zombles. But it's way easier. Let's just cap off. So for hopefully about six more fights. Uh, it's eight. And I'll be able to get my first... Um, like how much accuracy they get per level. So I can kind of... Because 96 is the the goal number
I gotta get into a normal fight. Okay. So, the idea now... ...is to have everybody attack this one time. Um, reducing the number of mummies down to one, and then I take the, the next few turns to just focus on healing. Saving myself a lot of um, healing potions. Oh, cool. Three. Three a level. Um... Twenty-five? Okay, 31. Level 31 is when I'll be able to um, attack four times. Sorry, eight times because the these guys. Oh. Oh, okay. Also, crit 22, crit 23. Cool. Their statistics are pretty balanced overall, I would say. There you go. Like, 16, 16, 19, 22. Yeah. Like, they're pretty balanced. Thank you. 
The Blue Dragon 3000, Frost Dragon 1000. Yeah, no. Come on, normal fight. I need some healing. Oh, well, um, shit. I gave more experience. Hi! Um... I can heal off of you. I'm pretty sure you hit hard, but... It doesn't really matter. If, I, if I'm fully healed by the time next turn comes around, after the Wyvern's attack, then I'm just gonna clobber him. It's just faster. Like, yes, it's more hazardous. Because they don't get to save, and... Things can go wrong in a hurry. But it's one of the better experience things... ...around. Especially for how quick it can go. So anyway, um, yeah, I've been thinking about uh, going back to some of the OG games that I really enjoyed, some of which I never got to play, like the first ro uh, Super Robot game. Um, since I've got the PlayStation 2 emulation working. I'm thinking of looking into whether or not I could get PlayStation 1 working. Because if I can, would you guys be interested in watching Xenogears? Xenogears was my all-time favorite RPG. Um, like, I don't know how much uh, information I have on it is accurate. You know, because around that time frame, it was school, uh, it was, um, what was it? Recess, um, schoolyard information, and I had heard that uh, through a magazine, which again is also not exactly the most stellar of avenues of information. Uh, they were better than game journalists currently, but man, they still weren't a hundred percent. Um, that said, man, after all that... Oh, okay, cool. This is going a little faster than I was expecting. Um... I found out, apparently... Yeah, by three. Um, apparently... That, um... Xenogears 
was actually what the uh, the storyline of Final Fantasy VII was supposed to be, but they deemed it too dark. Now, a lot of people who haven't played Xenogears but have played Final Fantasy VII are like, what are you talking about? Final Fantasy VII gets really dark, and it's like, yeah, I've seen both storylines. I will tell you right now, someone telling me off the cuff that, um, woo, um, Xenogears had a darker storyline than Final Fantasy VII to the point where they couldn't name it a Final Fantasy game. I would not doubt that. At all. Not even a little bit. Um, not even the smallest of bits. Because... Where Final Fantasy VII had some very tragic portions with tragic characters, Xenogears just shits all over that. Like, it does not give a shit. Um, so, yeah, no, um, it is a dark game. And it's dark in a suitable way. I've seen far too many games as of late, like, uh, look at Indivisible, and see my playthrough on that. Uh, man, that tried really hard to be dark, but it tried so hard to be dark that it was just like, okay, um, why is anybody happy? Like, this, this is shit, like, this is a shit thing, why are you all just happily going about doing it like nothing's a problem that makes no sense uh so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um it also has mechs xenogears is probably one of the most notable mech rpgs um and i think that's one of the big reasons why i loved it so much because, uh, let's be honest, guys, we don't see many actual RPGs that are mech-based. Um, you get a couple of turn-based ones. Super Robot is one such thing. There's a couple of other ones that are, are mech-based, but they start getting they start getting weird. Uh, then there's Xenosaga, which is supposed to be a spiritual successor to Xenogears. And then Xenoblade Chronicles, which is also supposed to be a spiritual successor to Xenogears. But both... Saying they missed the mark... Is being generous... Because they are entirely different stories. Don't get me wrong, I really liked Xenosaga. I... Am upset that they didn't get to do what they wanted to do. Um, they wanted to have a six-part story telling this this full drastic storyline. They couldn't do that, though. So they got three. And it ends off in a fucking terrible way. It really, really does. Um, yeah, but Zeno Gears ended in a kind of nebulous state, but it was still really enjoyable game. A, a really enjoyable game to me. Um, I'm weird though. Like I, I actually enjoyed what they had done. Um, one of the elements that was uh, wrong with Zeno Gears is much like with Final Fantasy VII and a lot of RPGs, actually, their funding got cut. Uh, either got cut or wasn't enough for what they were trying to go for, so end up being this big thing. Yeah, it just bottom line is they, they couldn't do what they wanted to do. Um, so near 
Uh, I think it's like after the second disc. Um, which, believe me, um, that might cause a problem for making uh, gameplay on the on Xenogears because it is a multi-disc game. I think it was like four discs, four or three discs. But the the last half of the game, um, instead of having the prior thing where you go around the world and you do all those stuff and blah 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 blah. It would jump to sections with a character talking to you about the events that led up to that event that you're currently going to go through. That is really interesting in my mind, but I could see how a lot of people were upset at that. With how fast these battles can go. Oh god damn it, stop with the thunder! Fuck. Alright, let's just. Can you stop glitching on me? Uh, we'll do that until I've got, like, 20, um, potions left. We're trying to have su uh, survivability so that I can leave. Because I know the Anklos are going to go cause me issues. And every level these guys get, they hit harder, so. By two. So it makes these fights go faster. But my big thing is to get that next tier of number of hits. Because that will change, uh, not only I'll have a huge cache of hit points to work with, um, but also I'll be able to tear through enemies a lot quicker. Probably level 32 is when I'll get the next tier of attacks. Right, not everybody has the same crit chance because the luck is different between people. Because I think it's a, a matter of luck and agility. Whatever.
one out of four attacks um, has a chance to crit. Hell yeah. There we go. This is oddly the fastest way to do this. Alrighty, he doesn't do that shit. I need to use the other tactic. Four. Nice. That's good enough. God damn it. Again, though, having an entire party that can heal is fucking great.
100 off is not okay. Yeah, we're just speeding this up, because it's getting a little slow, and I've got six more levels to go. Uh, probably after level 26, I'll go back and stock up on potions. After this turn, we'll just use the potions. Yay! Yep. So I need... Yeah. Level 32. Because I have to round up. Uh, what's all four are level 26? There we 
There we go. Not like these enemies outside of the the dragon is particularly problematic either. But they're random, so I can't like calculate and just turn my brain off while I'm doing it. Well, anyway, um, got a lot of levels off of this. I kind of want to get to level 32 before trying the last dungeon again. Um, let me know in the comments below if there is a better spot for leveling. Because right now it seems like the blue dragon is just the best for what I've got. It's only the one dra uh, dragon every single time. And I have uh, four chances to go before him. And all it takes is one shot to take him down. Potentially. Um, and then it's 800 uh, experience. Which is great. Uh, however, if there is another like monster spawn or monster trap spot that you think you guys think would be better, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, until then, uh, until the next episode, have fun, be safe, and aloha.